I'm Dash. And I'm Aiden. And this is another monumental, wonderful, gracious, holy, enlightening, beautiful, just incredible episode of Mustang Mount Roundup that I hope leaves you salivating at the mouths, waiting for our glorious, triumphant return the very next week. Now, we're going to get things started straight in this episode right away. We're going directly to Ollie with the win. I'm Ollie, and I'll be your weather forecaster for the day. As you can see today, it will be 95 in the highs and 73 in the lows. It'll be a bit cloudy, but there's still going to be some sun coming through, so don't worry. Then on Saturday, it's going to be completely cloudy, so it's going to be a little gray outside. Uh, 93 in the highs, 73 in the lows. Then on Sunday, it's going to be back to how it was today. So it's going to be 93 in the highs and 72 in the lows. Then, on Monday, it's going to be the same as Sunday. So 93 in the highs and 73 in the lows. Then on Tuesday, it's gonna, there's a 55% chance of rain. So you might want to break out your, uh, your umbrellas. Just, you know, uh, 89 in the highs and 74 in the lows. And then, Wednesday, there's going to be lots of chance of rain, but it's still a chance. So, uh, 83 in the highs and 71 in the lows. And then, uh, on Thursday going to be the same as it was on Monday. So 83 in the high, 71 in the lows. So it's starting to get a little more chilly out. And that was the weather. Back to you. Andrew. Thank you, Ollie, for the weather. What a wonderful performance. Next up on our shows today is football with Mr. Lark. All right, I'm here with Jay Stone, the star, the starting star on the Stand Up Elmore defense. How did you think of the last Friday's win? It feels good. I, I think we had an amazing game. We came out, showed what we could do. And you really have fun. Have, all the football is about having fun. As long as you have fun, play like you want to play, you'll come out with wins. That's about it, really. That ball. Friday, you have a daunting opponent, a team that's not been beaten by Stanhope in quite some time. What makes you think that this year is the year? We put our mind to it. And I've been saying I've been saying this for months. I'm not losing. I'm not losing to Pratt. I'm not losing nobody. I'm not losing no game. So uh, we coming out here to play to not lose. We're not losing. We came to change the We've been, what, 13 years? In about 13 years, I was too. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like losing. I don't like hitting the school losing. So we didn't come here to lose. We came here to win. It's that simple, going to the game to win and make a difference for Stanley. Right, thank you, Jay. You're welcome. And, of course, Prattle's <laughs> up next. It's been quite some time since the last time Stan up Elmore was able to walk on the field with a win against Prattle. I'm not playing anymore. What makes this team different than the past 13? Uh, leadership, Tom accountability. We got brotherhood. We have a brotherhood. Yeah, fresh, we're just real coachable. And then we, coachable we all got that dog in us, so, you know, that's a big, that's a big part of it. We have a coachable crash. And then we have that's good coaches. Man, y'all load up the student section. Come show some love, man. We're going to put on the show for y'all, man. We most definitely going to put on the show. The mic can hear me. All right, and don't forget, you can check out the game live on Mustang Roundup right here on the YouTube channel where I'll be commentating where, as they just said, the day that Stanhope finally takes down Prattville, you can check it right here on the YouTube, or you know, check it on GoFan too. Come support the support the Mustangs. Load up the bleachers. You know, let's get an environment that cannot be beat—a college-level environment right here in Millbrook, Alabama. I'll throw it back to the anchors in the studio. All righty then. Thank you so much to our glorious producer, the man that makes this show happen every week through the countless—and I mean countless—blood, countless. sweat, and tears he puts into this. A lot of tears. So, we're going to be taking you straight to volleyball with Aiden. I'm Aiden. I'm Carly. And this is volleyball. How do you guys think you're going to do this season? I think we're going to do pretty good. Um, the last game, I think it went pretty well, especially against Prattville. And we also won against Tallahassee. But I have high hopes for the rest of the season. Okay, okay. What do you think some of your strengths are, like the whole team's strengths would be? Our strengths are communicating and all working together. We 
we work a lot on communicating because it's very important. Okay, who do you think is <laughs> your hardest opponent this year? Um, probably with Tomka and Prattville. But are we winning? Yes. Okay, you. Me. Next up is the esports team with Jacoby and Dominic. Hey Mustangs, I'm Dominic, and who am I here with today? Dash. And Dash, I hear you're on the esports team, is that right? That I am. So do you want to explain that a little bit, like what esports is exactly? We play video games, and all but one of the games we play is considered to be in the Alabama High School Athletics Association. Mm, okay, okay. So what kind of, like, what, what games is are considered valid for the esports? Uh, we play Street Fighter, Super Smash Bros, Mario Kart, Madden, 2K. Uh, I think that's. I think you can also play like Overwatch. Mm -hmm. and Apex are available if I'm not mistaken. But we usually stick with the first few I mentioned. I don't know if we have an Apex team or a Rainbow Six Siege team. I think that's also an option. Mm -hmm. But the only one that's not a part of the AHAA is the Street Fighter, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, Troy, Deidre. I'm going to ask y'all some questions. What are you competing in? Uh, 2K and Madden. How confident are you in your skills? Uh, very confident. I've uh, been playing this game since I was little. When's your first game? Uh, September 7th. Thank you so much, Jacoby and Dominic, for bringing us those riveting interviews. Now, we're going to be heading straight to New to SE, where we introduce you to one of our brand new teachers, Miss Rome. What brought me to Stan Hope? Well, in my previous district, um, it was nice, but I really wanted to come here for something new, something different. Helped me to continue to grow as an educator, and plus my friend Mrs. Sprouse told me about the position here, and so I had to apply. What were you doing before Stan Hope? Before Stan Hope, I was at Carr Middle School in Montgomery, and I was teaching eighth grade English. What made you want to be a teacher? My love for learning and wanting to make a difference in kids' lives. And so I have a passion for education, and so I want to continue that. How are you liking Stan Hope? I like it very much. Everybody's been very nice to me. Thank you, Miss Rome, for that wonderful account of how you feel about SE. Next up on the list is a new segment called Spanish Word of the Week with yours truly, Miss Bowman. Hello, I am Senorita Bowman. I'm Dizzy. And we are here with the Spanish verb of the week. The verb is ganar, and it is to win. And we're going to do a little cheer for you. Aladio, alabayo, alabim, boom, bam. San hope, san hope, ra, ra, ra. Thank you so much, Miss Bowman, and of course, Parent. Now, we're going to be, <laughs> true. Now we're going to be going straight into a brand new segment for y'all. We've got For the Love of Lit, starring, well, would you look at that? Me. Hi, Mustangs. Now, you know me. I'm Dash. Now, today I had to ask myself, I had to come up with a new segment. Literature. It's called Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. Now, it's about a girl that has cancer. But I've, it's a very entertaining read. It's always going to give you a laugh. If, and it, it's really worth checking out. So I plan to bring you and introduce you to more books in this series. So when you have a chance, make sure you come check these books out at the library. Maybe buy your own personal copy, you know. And who knows, maybe you'll find a brand new favorite author. Or a favorite story. Until, anyways, until next time, Mustang Country, let's ride. Thank you, Dash, for that wonderful explanation of that book. You're Be welcome. sure to head to the public library to grab it. Now, a note from Mr. Lark. If you <laughs> are interested in joining Mustang Roundup as a club, make sure you come see Mr. Lark in room 615. The club will meet every Monday and Wednesday during break. And it's free to join. So there are no excuses. None. None. No after school commitment. Nope. No before school commitment. Nope. No fee. So join if you're interested. 
who knows? Maybe this deterred you. Maybe this want you. Maybe this made you want to join. But you know, either way, we love to have you. In fact, this is a place where you will be accepted. When the world around you it, it makes you feel down, come to Mustang Roundup. We will accept you for the person you are, and we will truly bring out your true and latent potential. Now, we're going to end things off with the quote of the week. You want to hit this one together? Sure. Sometimes it's the journey that teaches you a lot about your destination. What's up, Mustangs? Today, for the students every room, we have some people. What was your con most controversial opinion? My most controversial opinion? Uh, birds aren't real. Uh, Caitlin Clark's overrated. Yeah, soccer is a useless sport, and we should prioritize other sports over soccer and tennis and all of these other sports that we are creating. Uh, money really isn't that bad. You're just delusional. I think the WNBA is better than the NBA. Oh my, that's awful. That is <laughs> you asked, awful. You asked, that's terrible. You asked my question. Give me the mic. Oh my, my gosh. That's I'm here, Corey. Corey, what is your most controversial opinion? Ooh. <laughs> Man, I don't really tend to think about but what I think about this place is kind of, kind of good. Okay. <laughs> you don't like this school? Eh, it's kind of still boring to me. So it's, it's, it's always easy. A little bit. A little bit? That was what I did. <laughs> okay, okay. I like that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Kanye's pretty good. I mean... Oh. That people will get mad at if like, they hurt. Best quarterback in Alabama. Who am I here with today? Uh, Jacob Thorpe. Jacob Thorpe. What is your most controversial opinion? Uh, my, prefer my most controversial opinion is that we did not go to the moon. Oh, you think that the moon landing was fake? It was fake. It was all. What's your What's your evidence behind it, though? Um, all the pictures are reverse pictures, and they were taken mm. inside of like a prop place. Prop place, like Hollywood, like Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. You think it is like one of the like the flag, like it's not falling down? You think that's also yeah. The reason why uh, it's like yeah, that? it's fake. I like that. You think they killed JFK because he didn't want to fake they it? They did. They did kill okay. JFK. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you for talking. Yep. All right, my name's Jake, and my most controversial topic is that cheerleading isn't a sport. Now, with that being said, we hope you enjoyed this very calming and free episode of Mustang Roundup. With that said, Mustang Country, let's, let's go! go!